better, right? Um, change your hair. You said that gospel today. It says the disciples were were afraid. And they were scared. Do you remember what, why they were scared? What did they think they saw? Huh? Um, a ghost. Can you believe that? They thought they were seeing a ghost. They were afraid. Couldn't, it was like they were so afraid. They had so much fear that they weren't able to see Jesus. They were. They thought seeing a ghost. I wonder, is anything that you guys are afraid of? Nothing, right? You're afraid of some things. What? Guns. Guns. Yeah, I'd be afraid of those things. You know, they go off and everything hurt somebody. Yeah, there's some there's some things that we really should be afraid of, right? What? Cats and dogs. Cats and dogs, right? So, should we be afraid of cats and dogs? Some, sometimes, a little, little bit, huh? Guard dogs. Guard dogs. Those getting things are pretty ferocious, aren't they? Huh? You gotta watch them. You were gonna say something? Of heights. Heights. Okay. Um, well, you know, it's it's something you have to be careful about, right? Because you you're way up on top of something, you could fall. So you have to be careful. So fear is some sometimes it's, it's a good thing. It helps make us uh, cautious. What do we got? Afraid of elevators. Elevators. Okay. Well. Well, they. You. Anyone else afraid of elevators? Well, I don't think it's something we should really be afraid of. I mean, sometimes, but we're afraid of something that some things we should we should be a little afraid of. Some things maybe we gotta get over, right? Swords. Swords. Now that's something you should always be afraid of. If you get cut. Right. What else? Somebody who looks like. Yeah, those kind of people, right? We gotta stay away from them. But there's some people who might who might look kind of, you know, someone we might be afraid of, but might turn out to be a good person, right? Drugs. Drugs, definitely. Always afraid of those. Stay away. I keep them away. No way I can near those things. Fire. Fire. Yeah, I get burned. But but you know, we use fire. You know, like the candles here, right? So. A little bit afraid, but we want to be good about it. Snakes. Snakes? Oh. Huh.
So just like the disciples in the gospel, they thought they thought Jesus was a ghost. But no, no, it's he's not a coming dead from a tomb. He's someone alive and real in our lives, right? Jesus is Jesus a ghost? No, he's he's real, right? He's really alive. I'm saying you got the wrong message, sir. Have you seen any apparitions or any sightings of any sort? Hey, look. Uh, <laughs> It's not that same kind of sign, you know? That's not the kind of signs we see. What, what kind of signs do you see when you get a haunted house, huh? What, what do you see? So we got some, huh? Ghosts. You see ghosts? You see any ghosts around here? No. no. What else? Cobwebs. Cobwebs. What, what about you? Uh, must have a ear, I guess. <laughs> what about uh, What other things do you usually see? Well, we got reports that there were screams and bumps in the night. filled with another kind of spirit, Holy Spirit, and that Christ is really alive. We have other kinds of signs, like generosity, service, and good people, right? Those are our kinds of signs of, of a living presence of Christ in our lives. So I, I, it's not a ghost, you know, so I, it's not something we have to be afraid of. So I don't know. What, haven't you seen any of these things? I think we're in the wrong place then. Uh, well, maybe we've got to do a better job showing that you know, Christ is really alive in our lives, right? He's not just a ghost, that he's real. And, uh, but maybe it's because sometimes, uh, like sometimes when we're so afraid or fearful and stuff, then that has, that's like taking possession of us instead of, instead of that love. Um, uh, like some of these guys were had some fears. Um, all right, who are some of the things that you're afraid of, like the like the dark? Okay. All right, Ghostbusters, why don't you see what you can do? She's afraid of the dark. We're here. Okay. Now, how do you feel? I'm in the dark. Sorry. Uh, who else is afraid of something here? What were you afraid of? Who do we call? 
Let's can seriously say God. God, I can't hear you. Who do you call? So, so this, all right, now we know what you guys are up to. Okay, we're gonna put you out of business. Cause we're, next time we say something, we're gonna call. Yeah. All right, way to go, super. Sorry. Well, I'll try to get another, another living. Better next. We're out of here. We're out of here, I'll to your next, well, thank you, you thanks for trying for it. We can put out another movie, huh? Ghostbusters 3, you working on that? Okay. Seal? Huh? Thanks. Thank you very much, Ghostbusters. So, now we know who to call when we're afraid. And you know, God's there to save. He's always there. We're afraid, when we're lonely, when we're afraid of loving and giving. What we got? I'm afraid of the dark. Well, who do you call? Oh. All right. Thanks very much. You go back to your seats now.